What's going on y'all? Jeff coming at ya. So, car is fixed, car is roadworthy. Keys. Woo! $10 fix at the pick and pull. Um, so, car's back up and running, went to the pick and pull. Now I know most of you guys are gonna say, you know, those are an item that fail often. Why don't you just go to the parts store and get it? Well, it's COVID, I'm a single father, and I have some other projects on the go. This is, I call it my COVID beater, this uh, 94 Honda Accord. Uh, it's got tons of miles, it's got rust everywhere, it's got dents and stuff. And basically I'm just trying to see if this, if I can keep this, my daily runner, only using scrapyard parts and stuff. Um, Napa wanted like almost $100 for a new um, ignition switch. So, and Pick and Pole had an Easter sale going on. So I picked up two for 10 bucks. Um, also got some other things. But yeah, 10 bucks, can't go wrong. That is a huge savings. And as you can see, <laughs> car's back up and running again. So um, you can test those switches at the pick and pull the same way I showed you in the previous video, except for what you're gonna wanna do is disassemble the switch first from the ignition from your keyed lock cylinder because obviously there's no keys at the pick and pull. So disassemble that, get the switch out, keep it plugged into the main harness, hook up your ohm meter, use a small little flathead screwdriver and there's a shaft that goes in from the ignition lock cylinder into the back of the switch. Just put your screwdriver in there and play with it and stuff and make sure you got good, um, good resistance and stuff like that. Make sure you know there's no broken contacts and stuff. Another way you can tell too, on the back of the ignition switch, there's a date stamp on it. Uh, the one that I just took out here. Come on, focus. Is it gonna focus for y'all? Anyways, 93727. So uh, 1993, seventh month, 27th date. That's when this was made. So obviously this car being a 94, this switch is factory. This has been in for 341,433 kilometers. Went to the pick and pull, first one I pulled out, which looked really good, a lot cleaner than the one I put in. Had a date stamp of late 1995. So either that car, I think that car was a 95, so another factory one. But I did the ohm test and it worked fine. So I was willing to gamble with that one. And then as I was walking out of the pick and pull yard, I found another Honda Accord, pulled that one out. Boom, 2004 date code. And if I read right, there was a TSB or something like that. I think in, don't hold me to this, but I thought it was in the 2000s, early 2000s. So that may be the revised ignition switch and stuff and seems to be running just fine. So. Take a look at the stamps on the back, bring your voltmeter, you can do an ohm test, and you can get ignition switches dirt cheap. I picked up two, so one's gonna go right in the glove box. Uh, another thing I did, uh, the tamper-proof uh, shear bolts on this because it's an ignition Honda. I don't know, can we see the top there? Where are we? Hold on a second, right there. Those two, they're called shear bolts. So you'll see that I ground two slots in them so I could get them with a flathead screwdriver. So now I'll just carry these two Phillips and a flathead in my glove box along with my spare ignition switch. And a fella should be good to go even if he breaks down on the side of the road, I'll be up and running in five minutes. So hope this video finds you well guys. There's always cheap solutions for more expensive problems. Like this uh, 1994 COVID Honda, accord uh yeah thing keeps on running like share subscribe hit that bell button for notifications like i said there's big news coming in may talk to you guys soon